So now we're going to add some more interactivity with some buttons. I have already created two buttons and I can tell that because I have my little button and my finger on it here. Uh, let's make another one. Find your buttons panel and I'm going to go ahead and click let's do some laundry. I can either make this a button by this uh, shortcut here or I can just say yep I want it to be a button. When that happens, you're going to have some options here. So this page that I want uh, this button to go to is going to be page number five. <clears throat> Excuse me. So over here, uh, the event that it's going to work as release or tap, that's fine. Add an action, which is go to page. The page number it's going to go to is page number five. And then down here, I'd like to add a little rollover state. So I'm going to click rollover. And whatever you do to the text here, whatever you do to the button here, when you're on this rollover state, that's what's going to happen when someone rolls over it. So I'm going to highlight the text, and I'm going to go to the swatches panel, choose red. Perfect. And I'm going to go back into my buttons and panels panel. And you don't want to leave this clicked or else it's going to stay like that. So because this is active, I'm going to go back to normal. And the other thing is for some reason it doesn't it didn't save that it went to page five. So just make sure that you have the right page here. And I'm going to put five for both of these states so that it knows what to do. So now it's five here. Let's preview this. Here's a little button that calls up your interactive preview. And I want to preview the whole document now because it's going to go to other places. So let's reload the entire document. And let's go to page two, which has our links. And I can see that the rollover is working perfectly. And so we just put in this link and it works. So how cool is that? So you can Go back here now, let's see, and let's try another one. Lovely. And there's a few different things that you can do with buttons. So you can not only go to pages, but you can reveal content or hide content, and you can actually even call animations up. That would be really, really cool for a children's book, say that, you know, when they click something, something else happens, you know, birds fly or something like that. So you could get really, really creative with the buttons panel.